Hi guys, welcome back. Okay, so today we will talk about how to change the nick um, LAN card name in RHEL 7. If you remember in RHEL 6, it's very simple to change a uh, name of LAN card. I hope everybody knew that uh, where is the configuration file of configuration file this is our configuration file location this etc is this config network script okay here's the one file that's called cp af cfg yeah that yeah, is ano167736 if you remember in reddit 6 it was like this right so if you want to change the name and let it sticks you don't need to do anything you have to just do like cp and the name whatever you want to put here for example eth eth one two three right and then it's just in the configuration file you have to just change the name uh, of the device and the name the two variable which always be in this file let's you can see this this one and the device name this one right you have to change that one and then after you do that you have to restart the service your system will start with the new name of the LAN card but in rel 7 they made some changes in rel 7 you can see the len card name is no longer et at zero right it is not et is zero it's now en 167736 this one the American number something right so we have to change it and why we need to change it there are a few application in the market they do not consider this this number as a land card so they are still recognized only eth0 as a land card eth eth either it could be one two three right so how and how we can change it it is not very that simple that you have to just like for example if my my name is this and I can just do this and put this and make the changes in the configuration file this configuration file like change the name of the device and name variable and then reboot the system no it will not work out okay we have to make some configuration change in some configuration files right in the kernel level file that's grub file right so when you make some changes on that file after that we have to perform some steps thereafter we can change the name so i will tell you step by step how we can do it okay what is our first step our first step just so as uh, you are a very critical resource of any company so I just suggest you whenever you make any changes on the system production system always keep a backup of the files okay even it is a very minor change but don't think that oh it's just a simple name just for best practice always keep backup of the files whatever file you want to change it I promise it will help you it save the life when 
your system gonna crash you can roll back everything everything will become up because when you're going to change in one file you it's very easy to remember but when you're making a change in a lot of files it's very hard to remember what was what were the changes you made right okay now just step it's etc grab grab okay let me take a backup of this grab and let's go back up okay now what i need to do just open the file grab in this file in the end of the file we have to write few things with zero space net net dot if if name equal to zero okay just close save the file okay now as you know that if you make any changes in a grub file you have to reach and wait your grub file to make changes in the system level configuration file for that there is a common command okay iphone o boot grub dot cfg right <clears throat> okay we made the changes generating your configuration file automatically configure whatever you have made a changes in it is said to fall in the grub file after run this command those changes gonna reflect in this file if this is system level configuration file you don't need to change anything in this okay what is our next step our next step is just do one thing create one null file etc you have rules it's your iphone net iphone name iphone slot dot rules okay what is our final step just go to configuration file as i told you this is our location this now just keep a backup as i said cfc Okay. What we need to do? We have to change the name of two variables as we used to do in the RAL six. zero. zero. Okay, just cross check. You know, change the name. This also move this, 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 etc. Okay. Now just cross check again. Name is done, device name done. Okay. 
the rest of things would be the same. No need to make any changes in that. Okay, now just reboot your system because do not think that you have to just restart your network service, it will affect, right? You have to just reboot your system because you made some changes in the grub level configuration file, and so that will be reinitialized after reboot the system. Let me reboot the system. Okay, my system gonna reboot now. It will take only one minute, maybe thirty seconds, not more than that, to reboot my system. So, like this, we can change the name of our land card in L six. Okay. In rel not sorry in rel seven. Okay, I hope my system gonna up. Yeah. So this. Wow. Now you can see that. Well, and kind name is it is jail. Okay. Thanks to watch my video. If you find this video is helpful, please share with your friends and subscribe to channel Technical Tech. You're watching this video from Technical Tech. See you in the next video guys. Bye bye.